This episode was requested by my patron, Naomi Norbez. All right, so when was the last time you actually heard of a male character being called a Mary Sue? Spare Room with Karen Terry. Hey, y'all, and welcome to Spare Room. I'm Karen Terry, and today we're going to talk about Mary Sues. How do I make sure my character isn't a Mary Sue is a common question that I see in lots of roleplay communities and all over roleplay help. So that's what we're going to talk about today. We're going to talk about what makes a character a Mary Sue and how you can avoid making your character a Mary Sue. But first, some history. Mary Sue originated in fan fiction. Specifically, a piece of satirical fanfiction published by Paula Smith in Menagerie, which was a Star Trek fanzine in 1973. In this fanfiction, Lieutenant Mary Sue is a 15 and a half year old who manages to gain the affection of both Kirk and Spock. She gains control of the ship and she receives the Nobel Peace Prize, the Vulcan Order of Gallantry, and the Tromaphodorian Order of Good Guyhood. Sorry to Trekkies if I totally pronounced any of that wrong. Oh, and she dies at the end and everyone's really, really sad about it. This was written as direct parody to fan fiction where the authors inserted themselves into the world as perfect versions of themselves, if that wasn't obvious. And the term caught on from there. Probably as soon as you saw this thumbnail, your favorite Mary Sue example popped into your head. It's that character that seems like the perfect little self-insert of the author. So who was it? Was it a female in genre fiction? Be honest. The term has since evolved, of course. Here's how the Urban Dictionary describes Mary Sue in 2021. Mary Sue is a character who is so perfect that he or she warps the world around them to display their perfection. It seems as though nothing in this universe except Mary Sue is even real, and is instead a plot device to make Mary Sue seem flawless and loved. A Mary Sue can destroy a piece of writing or media since the character's existence will often forcibly make the world and people around them defy logic to simply display how amazingly radiant they are. The term is meant to describe any and all characters that seemingly warp reality simply to display their perfection, but some people use the term such as Marty Stew or Gary Sue as the male nickname for Mary Sue. It's also important to know that in an attempt to make a character seem less Sue-ish, authors will often give their Mary Sue a flaw that is just a stale trait in disguise. This has led to many different subgenres of Mary Sue, though all are just as boring and cliche as the original. Alright, so when was the last time you actually heard of a male character being called a Mary Sue? I'm going to give you a second to think about it. Do you have the example in mind? Was that instance a pure critique? Or was it in response to a female character being called a Mary Sue? Exactly! Okay, so if it didn't click for you, what does this mean? It means the origins of Mary Sue is a piece of satire. It means that what a Mary Sue is is an insult to a particularly campy trope that are used by females who enjoy genre fiction. This is despite what Urban Dictionary says, or what dudes on Reddit will spend so much time trying to convince you of otherwise. Characters who are accused of being a Mary Sue are not being critiqued by the accuser. The accuser is not expressing how the narrative is harmed by that character being a Mary Sue, or how that character could be improved in the story. Mary Sue is an insult, which means what they're saying is they don't like the character. They don't like female characters winning the day, getting the guy, and being good people all at the same time. I'll say it again. Mary Sue is not a metric of critique. It's an insult. And you cannot avoid some people disliking your character. There is no rubric by which you do this, do this, do this, and then everyone's going to think your character is awesome and well-rounded and likable. And let's take it to roleplay for a moment. We are all here playing self-indulgent pretend. There's nothing wrong with seeking wish fulfillment through fiction. There's nothing wrong with being campy or cliche. Every protagonist character ever started out as someone's lame OC that they worked on until they fit exactly where they needed to into the story. And lots of stories need their main character to be a character that wins in the end and gets the guy or gets the girl and is a good person while doing it. 
So why is it an insult when a woman does this in genre fiction, but anywhere else this character is just the protagonist? This character getting to be the protagonist is even true of a lot of classic literature which a lot of our stories are based on. The typical example is Dante from Dante's Inferno. In this story, a self-insert of the author is led around hell by his man crush, Virgil, and he sees a bunch of his enemies eternally punished. Oh, and everything turns out perfect for Dante in the end, he ends up escaping hell. On Easter morning of all days. Or what about famous authors that literally insert themselves into their stories? You don't see dozens of huge think pieces about how awful Stephen King is for inserting himself into the Dark Tower. Or what about Kurt Vonnegut who did it a few times? Or H.P. Lovecraft's character Randolph? Or Clive Cussler who did it in a bunch of his books? So, in conclusion, the answer to the question of how to not make your character a Mary Sue is that the question is bad. Mary Sue is not a measure of critique, it's an insult. And you're not gonna get anywhere asking how to prevent people from disliking your character. The best you can do is continue working on your characters until they're exactly what you want, exactly what their stories need, and they're well-rounded, fleshed-out characters. And I have a whole playlist for character help, which I'll link up in the card. I recommend you guys check that out. I have tons of topics in there, probably one on the thing that you're struggling with. So what do you guys think? Did you guys know all of this before clicking on the video or was this new information for you? Let me know all of that down below. And of course, as always, don't forget to make it a great day.